I have some unfortunate news, though. I don't know how many, like, how much I've talked about him, but... Um, my horse Cheerios passed away today. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? Are we sassy girl? Are we doing sleepy? Okay. So, it's actually like 1.30 in the afternoon. It's been a pretty slow Sunday. Um, mm. stretch. I had breakfast, I watched Mysteries at the Museum Alcatraz, which was pretty cool. And now I'm working on job applications, yay! This time I'm making a list of everywhere I've applied so that I cannot forget where I've applied. So far I found two PetSmart jobs at um, a PetSmart in Chattanooga. Both of them are jobs that I would be interested in. Ooh, that reminds me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oops. Reapply at Starbucks. Um, one of them was a pet bather and the other one was a pet care associate. So I'm like, ooh, jobs I'm interested in. So I've applied to those. I'm gonna reapply to a lot of jobs that I've already applied for. And then at some point today, I also need to do my internship project. I've already emailed myself the pictures. I just need to put it in a document and send it to Zach. So, got me a busy computer morning. Oh, and get the vlog. Can't forget the vlog. So, now I'm going to apply to a bunch of places. Well, I'll ship back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so I have finished my intern project. I would want to show you pictures from it, but company policy I'm not allowed to, so it looked really good. Um, I have some unfortunate news though. I don't know how many, like, how much I've talked about him, but um, my horse Cheerios passed away today. He was 22. Um, he was a Palomino American Quarter Horse and he was my baby. I hadn't ridden him in the past few years and I felt bad for that. But apparently he was found in the lake this morning. The theory is that he somehow slipped and fell in and drowned. Which, I really hate that for him. I do. I, like, I was hoping that, you know, he'd get old and pass. You know, like, everybody wants their animals to do. So, I am okay, because, like, automatically my brain's like, why aren't you super emotional about this? A lot of people would just, like, flat out be in tears and could not function for the rest of the day over something like this. But, I have a few reasons. One, I'm not that emotional of a person anyway. Two, I knew he was going to die at some point. Growing up on a farm or growing up with animals, you know that. That your animals are not going to live forever as much as we would love for them to. And that one day they'll die. So, I knew his day was coming. I know 22 isn't very old for a horse, but it's still kind of aging. I think in horse years that'd be around 60-something. And I mean, it was a purely accidental death. Like, what do you do? So... He'll get buried tomorrow when my dad could get a backhoe and I'll get a lock of his mane like we did with Lou and Chick which I know you guys haven't ever really heard of them. Those are two horses we've had in the past. One of them died of old age, the other one died because she had some kind of either laminitis or hoof infection to where it'd make it her life miserable as she still lived. So. I know, such positivity, but this is life, you know? Things live, things die, that's just how life is. And don't worry guys, I'm okay. I've already cried my tears about it, and at this point I'm just moving on, because this is just what it is. Um, I knew it was going to happen. I wish it didn't happen the way it did, but... 
At least now I know that Cheerios has gone over the Rainbow Bridge and he will be eating as many green apples and pasture cookies as he wants. And he is waiting for me to come and join him. So, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys about Cheerio. And, of course, I'll post pictures here if you guys have never seen him of my baby boy and the life that he's had. So I wanted to show you guys kind of like a classic anxiety thing that I deal with a lot. I am so tired. I've talked about anxiety fatigue already. I'm exhausted. Even when I'm... I feel bad because whenever I'm like watching vlogs on YouTube, I've gotten to where I will be falling asleep while listening to them. And I feel bad because I like commenting on them and I just can't because I fell asleep. But, you know, while I am super exhausted, let me show you what my body does. You see that? My foot is bouncing. People may be like, oh, you know, that's something completely in your control. No, not really. This is anxious energy finding its way to escape. <laughs> I am mentally exhausted, but physically... Like with the high levels of serotonin, body's like, we need to get this energy out somehow. So I am often doing that number when I'm trying to sleep. Bouncing my foot or like finding some way to just get all this energy out of my system. So I just thought I'd share with you guys the wonders of anxiety. Hey guys. So I just got out of the shower. And now I'm getting dressed because I'm meeting my family and some friends at Las Palmas, which is a Mexican restaurant. And sorry if I'm blinking a lot. Something got in my eye. Um, but right now, anxiety is picking up because I know that it's going to be crowded. And I'm just like, <sighs> Um, So I got curious. I wondered how to train a dog to pick up on your anxiety. Because I don't know if Little Bit naturally picks up on it. I don't think he does. Though he's starting to whenever something's going on with me. Excuse you. Hey, excuse you. Thank you. Um, he'll look at me like, there's something wrong, Mom. Are you okay, Mom? What? But, of course, he doesn't know what to do yet. So I looked up online, like, how to help train for him to start alerting to anxiety. And I saw where, like, give him treats every time an episode happens. So I'm going to try that. I also tried giving him praise and just snuggling him. So we're going to see how that goes. <sighs> it's, again, times like this where I so wish that my dog was ready to be a service dog. He's not yet, but he will get there one day. So now I'm going to finish getting ready and head off to get some food. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys. Yo, here, my Amarel. Amarel, you want to say hi to your internet friends? No. I love you. Such a good boy. And there's my sassy girl. 
Sassy girl. So I'm excited. Mom and Dad are home. Riddler's downstairs saying hi to Dad. So, now that I have gotten home, I am feeling a lot better. It was just so much, so many people, so much noise. It made my anxiety shoot through the sky. And then, of course, thinking of Cheerio was kind of not making me feel good either. So, glad I got home. So now, I'm home. I got my dogs. We're about to go to bed. I've taken my meds, so hooray! Um, so now, I'll sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day is, what do you do when you're out in public and your anxiety is really high? Um, one of the things I like doing is talking with friends. So I will message my friends, that's what I was doing, I was texting, Snapchat, Facebook message, whatever. So put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, sassy girl. I love you. Good night, Emerald.